Hey viewers, welcome to a JH Extra Special. Today I'm going to be talking about a new game for the Xbox 360 that has already been buzzing around to E3. If you have not guessed already, the game is World of Tanks. I have been playing World of Tanks since its earliest beta form. I have witnessed changes I did and did not like that overall changed the game. In the end, I still enjoy rolling around in armored warfare, however, I do think they could jump the shark here. My first bone to pick would have to be to keep it simple, allow free gameplay but have things within the game to buy. Like gold on PC, you must buy it in order to use special features of the game. My question is, are they going to include Microsoft points as an alternative? Hopefully the answer is no. Microsoft points will create confusion using the gold feature. I think it will be easier for them to have a redirection from the main website to a special World of Tanks 360 edition. This makes it easier to get a hold of your account, separates the PC users and 360 users. Since I'm going to be playing both, I might not mind seeing a World of Tank update for 360 announced and mixed with the PC forums. On the flip side, if I were a strict PC player, I would find it annoying seeing patches that I have had and have surpassed advertised from 6 months before. Looking at the Xbox controller, I do have some concerns. The controller is limited to the motions you can perform and still keep the game playable. I assume that the left analog stick will be used as a steering and driving mechanism. This leaves the turret to be operated by the other analog. Where does this leave a zoom feature? In World of Tanks on the PC, it is very useful to be able to swiftly maneuver the camera to an outside view whereas seeing around corners is the difference between life and death. In this game, I play as the M4A3E2, personally my favorite tank. I use this tank as an all around comfort zone. I can fight with confidence that even if I'm killed right off the bat, I will not be too badly hurt on a negative credit count. The M4A3E2 was a model of the M4 Sherman that had some special features. An area's armor exceeded 4 inches on the front glacius, which was comparable to the German opponent the Tiger and mounted a 76mm cannon compared to the regular M4 Sherman's 75mm cannon. This new 76mm cannon gave the crew's ability to penetrate the Tiger's frontal armor at greater distances, boosting morale and making the job easier on the tankers. World of Tanks is known for producing some kick-ass trailers, and this one sure is one of them. Although not all is gameplay, it really demonstrates the capabilities quite accurately to what you can actually do in the game. From smashing into other tanks and totaling them, it shows off the sweet physics engine and destruction model making them very appealing. That's about all I have to say about World of Tanks for the 360. Enjoy the rest of the video.